Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This this is a 1 volt to 5 volt booster uh, module. I uh, picked a bunch of these up for some uh, for some prototyping purposes. I'll also be selling them when I have the link. I'll link it below. Um, in any case, you can put anywhere from 1 to 5 volts on the input, and it boosts, 5 buck boost, to 5 volts on the output, labeled 5 volts here, ground here. So I'm going to solder two leads here for our input, and I'm going to solder two leads here for our output. We're going to measure our output. We're also going to measure uh, some short circuit current. Right now I've got 0 0.9 volts on the input. I'm going to drop it slowly and we'll see what happens to the output. Now at 0 0.9 volts you're not going to be able to source much current, but uh, at say 3 volts you can source, I'm expecting to see about 500 milliamps. Uh, but again we'll test current in a minute. First I want to see the uh, low voltage drop out. So at 0 0.8 volts. 0.7 volts, 0.6 volts, 0.5 volts, 0.4 volts, 0.3 volts, 0.2 volts. 0.2 volts is pretty impressive. 0.1 volts and it drops down. It's still boosting. Uh, it says I've got 0 volts on the input. I'm sure I have more than 0 volts, it's volts on the input. And I think there's also some residual... Uh, residual uh, uh, power on the caps, but in any case, uh, I've got zero volts and it's just drawing zero milliamps. So there is a boost happening, the LED is barely lit up, so I'm going to bring it back up to I'm going to bring it back up to one volt at the input because that's in the, in the uh, information that I have the minimum you're supposed to have. It is nice to see that if you had a really, really low uh, power application that it would actually still boost uh, down to 0.5 volts. There's a buck boost on here. Uh, very, very easy to use. So let's test the uh, current. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the configuration of my multimeter and I'm going to measure the short circuit current on this. This device does not like short circuit. Uh, obviously no, no, uh, no circuit does. But uh, So what happens is, is when I place uh, when I place a uh, 10 ohm resistor at the output, the resistor isn't rated for this kind of power, but what I want to see is just a, a quick look to see uh, at what voltage, what input voltage can I, uh, can I get 5 volts out at 500 milliamps. So right now, uh, the output is, uh, is dropped. It's dropped to 0.8 volts. I've actually got 1.1 volts on the uh, input. It's drawing 92 milliamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the voltage up slowly and we're going to see how the output reacts with that 10 ohm resistor across it. So we achieve 5 volt boost at 500 milliamps at 4.3 volts. So at 4.3 volts you can source 500 milliamps. And I'll bring the voltage back down. So let's change the resistor and try. Let's try a larger resistor. So I've got five volts, uh, a ten ohm resistor. I'm gonna pull power now. Um, so five volts with the ten ohm resistor is 500 milliamps. I'm gonna take that resistor off, and I'm going to try. I'm gonna try uh, 200 milliamps. So I've got a uh, 25 ohm resistor across the output. 4.7 volts at the input, it's drawing 215 milliamps. Now if I bring the voltage down, it will still uh, boost to 5 volts, but the the, uh, the input power will, will uh, go up significantly. So let's bring the voltage down. Three point eight volts, we're drawing 232 milliamps in the input. Three volts. Still boosting to roughly 5 volts, it's having a little bit of trouble. 342 milliamps in the input. The boost is starting to drop, and we're uh, at, at 0 0.19, at 0 0.19 uh, volts. I'm going to bring the voltage up, but actually I'm just going to disconnect. At 0.19 volts, we're sourcing 200 milliamps at the output, but it's taking uh, about 500 milliamps at the input, so the efficiency drops. So if you want to, uh, ideally, this circuit would be great for low power applications at, at, at 1 volt to 1.5 volts, so an AA battery at the input. 
drive a few LEDs, no problem, uh, no problem with efficiency. Uh, but if you want to uh, drive higher currents, say five, six hundred milliamps at the output, you're going to need closer to four volts at the input. So this is just a neat little booster circuit, very, very small, um, but efficient as long as you're not overloading the output and your input voltage is too small. So if I have four volts at the input, I'll have five volts boosted the output and I can achieve between four and six uh, hundred milliamps. So it's a neat little board, very, very small. There are uh, two mounting holes on the, uh, on the output side and uh, two solderable leads on the input side. So that's it. Uh, if you're interested, please feel free to uh, visit us at engineeringshock.com or uh, electroniclessons.com. I'll have this posted soon. Thanks for watching, guys.